In this tutorial, we're going to edit this landscape photo. We'll be able to use a number of techniques, including the magic brush, style brushes, and some simple edits in Capture One. I'll start as I normally do by straightening and cropping the photo. In my rotation and flip tool, I'm going to auto straighten, so I'll click the magic wand icon here, and now tighten up my crop. Now moving on to adjustments, I'll head over to my adjust tool tab. I'm generally happy with how the photo looks, but it's a bit low in contrast and I'd like to bring out some more detail of the clouds in the sky. So let's first of all deal with the lack of contrast and bring up my contrast slider a small amount. And I'll also add in some clarity. Once I've dealt with a few other adjustments, I'll return back to the Levels tool and see if we can improve the contrast further. Okay, let's go ahead and deal with the sky. For this, I'm going to use the Magic Brush. The Magic Brush is a fast and simple way of selecting areas of similar pixels. To make sure you can see the effect of the Magic Brush, make sure your mask is visible. In the future, just hit M on your keyboard as a handy shortcut. Next, I'm going to right click and have a look at my Magic Brush settings. As there is pretty good separation between the sky and the rocks, I'm not too worried about the tolerance. If the sky and the rocks had a much closer tonality, I might bring my tolerance down a bit. I will increase my refine edge so that I don't have too much of a hard cutoff between the sky and the rocks. So all I need to do now is draw where I want my mask to appear and Capture One will fill in the rest. That looks pretty good, so I'll hide my mask with M on the keyboard. And now I can use my adjustments to improve on that. First of all, I'm going to darken it slightly with the exposure slider and add some more clarity. There we go, that's looking more interesting. I'll also bring my shadow and highlight points in for this particular layer, as that will once again improve the contrast and now we can see those cloud formations much better. Turning off my layer, you can see it without the adjustments and then with the adjustments. It's also a good idea to name your layers so you know what each one is doing. Now by improving the contrast in the sky, it's also shown us a dust spot, which would be nice to get rid of. For this, we can use our healing brush. So I'll select this, right click, and make my brush a bit larger, and then draw over my dust spot. Capture One's picked up that source point automatically, and I think that looks perfect. Okay, now we can deal with the rest of the photo. I'm conscious that there's a small amount of haze in the rocks to the background. But the rocks in the foreground look fine, so I don't want to add a dehaze adjustment to the entire photo, but a selective amount of dehaze could work well. So going over to my style brushes, I'll select the haze remove style brush and simply add a few brush strokes over to the more hazy areas. I don't feel the need to be especially careful with the brush as there's no negative result from going slightly over those areas. To see how that's helped us, if we turn this layer off and then back on again, you can see the improvement in the contrast. And it also means I can see any areas I've missed and I'll go ahead and add a bit more to this area. All right, let's close those style brushes down and return to my background layer. I'd like to add a bit more contrast and clarity to the grass at the front. There's a small amount of movement blur associated with the slightly long exposure, but I think some additional clarity or contrast will make this stand out better. As opposed to drawing a mask, I'm going to use a linear gradient and I want to put that on a new layer. So I'll go ahead and make a new layer first. And we'll call that grass. I'll pick my linear gradient tool 
and draw on my gradient mask at the bottom. And it only needs to be relatively thin. To stop it encroaching too much into the rocks, I'll change this from a symmetrical gradient to an asymmetrical. And for that, I need to hold down my option key and then drag this line down a small amount. So my mask looks like this if I press M on the keyboard. And now I'll add in some additional clarity as I mentioned. And also pull the highlights down a bit. Once again, to see the effect of that layer, let's turn that grass layer on and off. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. If you remember at the start, I said I might return to my levels. So let's see if that gives us an improvement or not. So if I hit auto, Capture One's gonna set those shadows and highlight points. And whilst that looks nice and contrasty now, I'm worried it's maybe too much. So to reduce the effect, I'll pull those shadow and highlight points out by a small amount. And as usual, to preview what you've done, you can click on the before and after button on the toolbar or just press Y on your keyboard. So here's our before and here's our after. So a small amount of work can really improve the definition on those different areas of the photo.